Jones and that song and her brand new album are out as of today. It's her first album ever and she's celebrating with us. Thank I you for sure doing am. that. Thank you so much for having me. We I'm so did. excited. We Congratulations. Are excited. Yes. Thank you. Tell us about Some Girls Don't Cry. I know you worked with a very special producer on this project. Oh my goodness, yes. So my first ever country album just came out today um, and I got to record with Kent Wells, which is Dolly Parton's producer and he's also my producer now. So I am so excited for it. What oh a score. my yes. gosh. I know. It's hard to believe <laughs> that this is your first album because you have such an easy voice to listen to and get down to. Yes. Um, I know that you wrote a few of the songs on the new album. So tell I us did. about those and any favorites that you have. I did. So I wrote one of them and then I co-wrote two other ones um, but I think my my all-time favorite is a song that I wrote about my life my grandparents actually raised me since I was one and so I wrote a song about them that kind of tells my life story and uh, it's called she did there and yes there they are they are so precious um, they're 89 and, and 86 years old and they still come to a lot of my shows so they Aww, are yeah <laughs> I love that. they are everything and we can definitely hear in your sound those old school influences that they yes. turned you on to at an early age. Oh my goodness, yes. I grew up listening to Loretta Lynn, George Jones, Tammy Wynette, Patsy Cline, all the all the oldies but goodies is what I call them. So. <laughs> all the oldies but goodies. Yes, and hey, I just love that they are still sticking around, grandma and grandpa, supporting you through and through that must be incredible to have that support system around it is. you. I am uh, I am so blessed to have them in my life and and uh, their support has definitely pushed me and, and molded me into the woman that I am today and uh, the music that I'm releasing is, is something that I know that they will always be proud of so yeah. Well, I'm inspired by you because I just learned you're <laughs> a mother you. to four. I am. I and am. And here you are releasing your first album. I mean, that's inspirational. Yes, no. Thank you. And it's got to be hard to balance them both. Um, it is, but it isn't because I have an amazing support system at home, and and uh, my best friend is actually watches my kiddos so that I can go out on the road, and she's lived with me for eight years now, and I couldn't do it without her. So she's yeah. she's amazing. Yeah. Okay. I I saw on your Instagram that you said this album. Listen up, ladies. It's for <laughs> all you ladies who are more than happy to get certain men, quote, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. out of their lives. Tell us more. I feel I like mean, you're talking to someone. I mean, I, I might have been there a time or two, uh, but I, I'm definitely the kind of woman that, uh, I do have my emotional side, but for the most part, I'm, I'm a, this is, I wanted it to be an anthem to anybody. I even had a married woman reach out to me and she was like, uh, I'm happily married, but I'm screaming this song at the top of my lungs. So I just thought that was great that, you know, single ladies, married women, anyone, um, this is a, a women empowerment song. And uh, I'm so excited to be able to, to put this song out. And it's the title of my album that just came out today. And I'm so excited for it. That's great. Yeah. We know you're headed back to Texas to yes, celebrate this I evening. Am. So we're so glad you stopped by to celebrate Thank with us. Thank you so much. This music video looks like it was a lot of fun to shoot. I think I saw the Grand Ole Opry in that. Yes, we. I got to bring about eight of my friends from Texas to Nashville and we shot this here in Nashville. So it was, it was amazing. Nice. And yeah. I think you made, you had to step on the stage, the Grand Ole Opry on Monday for the first time. I if did. I'm not I did. I stayed out of the circle though. That is, that okay. is sacred and hopefully will come later on, you know, sooner than later. But, mm -hmm. um, I definitely did a, a, I did a benefit with Lee Greenwood. And so I got to, to sing God bless the USA. So it was, it was amazing, amazing experience. Awesome. Speaking of singing, you've been singing since you were what, nine years old? Yes. Yeah, I mean, pretty much since I was three or four, I, I made my grandparents sit in the living room and they had to cheer and clap and call me out, you know, into the living room and I would sing Shania Twain and, and Billy Ray Cyrus and, and Ray Price and all of those, so, yeah. Gosh. I know, right? And it, I was looking at your touring schedule. We have a lot of shows in Texas, but we get the mm -hmm. honor of seeing you here in Nashville at Third and Lindsley. Yes, coming I'm up. so excited for that. So excited. September 4th, so y'all need to come out um, to 3rd and Lindsley. It is going to be an amazing night of country music. So y'all got to come check out my band. Oh, yeah. Love it's it. going to be fun. We can tell. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thank you so much, friends. We love her. Some Girls Don't Cry is out right now. Check her out and follow her career at BillyJoeJones.com.